Here are the top 10 richest Filipino this year 2023. Number 10. Andrew Tan. With a net worth of $2.4 billion. Andrew Tan shares Alliance Global. A holding company with interests in food and beverage, gaming and real estate. He is a son of a factory worker, Tan built his fortune by developing large apartment complexes around Manila. Alliance Global runs Imperador. The world's largest brandy company by sales volume. Tan's son, Kevin is the chief executive of Alliance Global and chief strategy officer of property developer. The Mega World Alliance Global has earmarked 60 billion pesos to expand its real estate, distillery and fast food chain businesses. Number 9. Ramon Ang. With a net worth of $2.45 billion. Ramon Ang is the president and vice chairman of one of the nation's oldest conglomerates, the San Miguel Corporation. Originally a brewer, San Miguel is now a leader in food and beverage, but the bulk of its revenue comes from power and infrastructure businesses. He also owns a substantial stake in Eagle Cement, which he took public in 2016. San Miguel is proposing to build a $15 billion airport and city complex at a 2,500 hectare location along Manila Bay. The company has invested $1 billion to build 31 battery energy storage systems across the Philippines with 1,000 megawatts total capacity, slated to come on stream by the end of 2022. Number 8. Jaime Zobaldo Ayala. With a net worth of $2.55 billion, Jaime chaired his family's Ayala group until retiring in 2006 when his son, Jaime II took over. Now Jaime's seven children control more than one-third of the $3.9 billion conglomerate. His grandfather started with a distillery in Manila, then expanded the business into banking, real estate, hotels, telecommunications and education. Number 7. Tony Tan Kaktong. With a net worth of $2.6 billion. Tony Tan Kaktong is the founder and chairman of Jollibee Food, one of the world's fastest growing Asian restaurant chains. Jollibee Group operates more than 3,300 eateries in the Philippines and more than 2,500 stores overseas. Jollibee sells Filipino, Chinese, American and European dishes adapted to a quick serve and affordable format. With partner Edgar Sa II, Kak Tong also owns a stake in the fast-growing Double Dragon properties. Number 6. Isidro Kinsanji. With a net worth of $2.65 billion, he inherited his fortune from his late father David Kinsanji. Their wealth stems from DMCI Holdings, one of Philippines' largest property development companies, founded by David Kinsunji in 1954. Isidro Kinsunji is chairman and president of the firm, which also has interests in mining, power generation and water services. Recovering from COVID impact, DMCI's revenue in 2021 jumped 60% to $2.65 billion and net profit more than doubled to $350 million. Number 5. Aboyati's family. With a net worth of $2.9 billion. Five generations of the Aboyati's family have transformed Aboyati's equity ventures into one of the leading conglomerates in the Philippines with interests in power banking and financial services, food, infrastructure, land and data. The family's privately held holding company, Aboyates and Company was founded by Paulino Aboyates, son of a Spanish farmer who migrated to the Philippines in the late 1800s, as an Abarca trading and general merchandise business. Today fourth generation members head the family business. Enrique chairs Aboyati's Equity Ventures, Michael serves as Vice Chairman, Sabin is President and CEO, former Aboyati's Equity Ventures President and CEO, Eriman, brother to Enrique and Sabin, is now a Director. Fifth Generation Member, Ana Maria also sits on the board. Number 4. Lance Gokongwai. 
with a net worth of $3.1 billion. Lance Gokongwai is the only son of the late John Gokongwai Jr. who founded JG Summit, one of Philippines' largest conglomerates. He now serves as chief executive of the company, which spans interests in airlines, banking, food, power and property. He also has a stake in Robinson's Retail, one of Philippines' largest retailers, which was started by his father as a department store in 1980. Gokongwai got his start selling Jack and Jill snacks to supermarkets and Sari Sari stores in the Philippines. Number 3. See Siblings. With a total net worth of $14.9 billion. The six C siblings, Tira Sita, Elizabeth, Henry Jr., Hans, Herbert and Harley, inherited their fortune from their late father Henry C. Sr., the founder of SM. Their combined net worth is comprised largely of stakes held in the group's publicly traded SM Investments and SM Prime. SM traces its roots to Henry Sr., who sold overrun shoes in 1958 at a store in Manila he aptly called Shoe Mart. Today, SM is one of Southeast Asia's largest conglomerates, with interests in department stores, supermarkets, banks, hotels, real estate and mining. While daily operations are now managed by outside professionals, the siblings sit on the group's boards and guide SM's overall strategy. Number 2. Enrique Rosen. With a net worth of $6.7 billion. Enrique Rosen Jr. chairs International Container Terminal Services ICTSI, the country's leading ports operator. International Container also has subsidiaries in the Asia-Pacific, Eastern Europe, Africa, and the Americas. Risen's grandfather started the business with a port in Manila in 1916, which his father rebuilt after World War II. Risen grew the business globally. The crown jewel of his hospitality firm Bloomberry Resorts is the sole air resort and casino in the Philippines. Number 1. Manny Villa. With a net worth of $8.3 billion. Manuel, known as Manny Villa, chairs the property developer. Vista Land and Lifescapes run by his son Manuel Paolo. The company listed Vista Reed, a real estate investment trust in June 2022 with an initial portfolio of 10 shopping malls and 2 office towers. Villiers' biggest asset is his stake in Golden MV Holdings, formerly Golden Briar, a developer of mass housing projects and memorial parks. He also has three other listed entities including mall operator, Vista Malls, home improvement chain, all home and supermarket chain, all day marts. His wife Cynthia and son Mark are senators in the Philippines, while daughter Camille is a congressman representing their hometown Las Piñas in southern Metro Manila. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.